Hi everyone, so in this video uh, for Math 3273, we're gonna try to define um, these things called householder matrices. Um, and they are meant to be uh, kind of like, kind of like a reflection, okay. And here's the idea, at least. I'll draw a picture, or I'll attempt to. The idea is, we have a vector x, and we have a vector y, and they have the same length. And what we want is a... We want to... Um, we have a matrix, which essentially just switches x and y, kind of leaves everything else alone as much as possible. Okay, and how do you do that? Well, first, so here you add them together, you get x plus y. Okay, and how do you get from x to y? Well, you start with, like, let's say you start with x, the projection on x onto x plus y is is this vector, okay, okay, and this arrow, this is the difference, so that like this is this arrow is x minus this projection. Okay. Or if you want this arrow, this is like um, the projection, kind of like the projection of x onto um, the orthogonal complement to x plus y. Okay. So, anyways, how do you get from x to y? Well, you take since x and y have the same length that's crucial, right? You take x and subtract twice this arrow. And if you do that, you end up at y. Right? And this is where it's crucial that this vector x plus y is like bisecting. Right? If x and y have different lengths, it's it's skewed or something, it no longer works. Right? So this is the, this is our idea. Um, if x and y have the same length, we can kind of like draw this bisection and then like um, to get from x to y, we like subtract twice this um, like projection. Okay. Okay. Um, in this video, I just want to go over the basic properties of these, the, the definition of basic properties of these householder matrices. Okay. So first, um, let's just recall that if I have a vector u, or let's say given w, find u let's say, um, let's say P W is going to be W W star over W star W. This is a vector, this is a matrix, which um, gives the uh, projection onto W, right? So P W times X is, this is the projection of x onto w. Okay. So note we have p w star is actually equal to p w. Right. Check if you star everything. Right, you get w star star times w star, which is w times w star, like on the top. Okay, so you can check that pw star equals pw. 
equals PW squared. Okay. And the same is true of like 1 minus PW and so on, but um, it's not that important. Well, we'll see how, we'll see what happens uh, when we construct the householder matrices. Okay, so now definition. Okay, so what is the householder matrix? So let W be non zero, then the householder matrix. Um, corresponding to W is defined to be we'll call it UW that's just 1 minus 2 times the projection of W in other words that's 1 minus 2 times W, w star or W star W This is a householder matrix. Okay, and some uh, basic properties of, oh yeah, so the name of it is UW. Okay, so some basic properties. Are that these householder matrices are unitary W is in Rn, then UW transpose equals UW equals UW inverse. So if W is a real vector, then um, UW is actually a orthogonal matrix. Okay. And the proof this comes from the basic properties of projections, right? So like, let's prove, let's prove for the unitary version, I guess. So look at um, UW star, for example, well, that's just one minus two times PW star conjugate transpose. Well, that's just conjugate transpose of one, or the identity is just one. I guess we should put like identity here. Okay, so a conjugate transpose of identity is just identity minus two times PW star. Okay, but PW star is just PW. So that we get UW. Okay, so UW star equals UW. And what about UW squared? Well, that's just 1 minus 2 times projection squared. Well, or sorry, identity. Sorry about that. Now multiply everything out. You get identity squared um, minus 2PW times identity minus identity times 2PW. So minus 4PW. And then um, plus 4PW squared. Okay, but PW is a projection. So PW squared equals PW. I squared is I. And whoops, they cancel. In other words, you get the identity. Therefore, UW is UW inverse. And since U star equals U W, so all U star, U W, U W inverse are all the same. Oops. Okay. That's just some of the basic properties of um, the the householder matrices. Um, OK, 
Okay, so let me stop there. And in the next video, we'll try and use the householder matrices to do what we want, which is kind of like row reduction.